Hi, I'm here with Earl Spence Jr. today. We're going to do a quick interview on how you feel about your last performance. It was good. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I feel like I did good. Um, I got a pony on short notice because uh, my original opponent uh, couldn't make weight or didn't try to make weight or whatever the case was. And um, I feel like I did good in the first round. I had to get adjusted to him. He headbutted me twice. Well, you know, I got back to the game plan in the second round, started going to the body, using my jab, and I was able to stop him. That's good. It's an impressive win. I mean, you didn't have – You just working for a different opponent, then you got a different one, and you still got the win. It's impressive. Most people can't adjust to that and do that. You know, shows your greatness stands out. But what do you see in your near future? Uh, I don't know. Any I'm big names? You know, September, Floyd says you're fighting for a title. He's going to vacate the title if, you know, you fight two individuals. Any names? I don't know. You know, I got to talk to Al. Hopefully in September I'll be fighting again. That's what Al said. I don't know if I'm going to fight for a title or who I'm going to fight, but hopefully I'll fight a big-name opponent. But in September you will see one side of the action like you've been seeing. So whoever it is, you know, you flatline game. You're going to get them out of there. Oh, yeah. It's flatline. Right. Mr. Man down. <laughs> Always, but I don't always. know. I don't know who. I don't know who I'm fighting yet. I mean, it's been names put out there. I know who I want to fight, but I mean, could you voice shit. your opinion on who you want to fight, sir? Anybody in the top ten? Anybody top ten? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> when you was in the ring, we heard some names. What you hear? You know, I got head, but you know, <laughs> you was kind of punchy at the moment. Yeah. It's just you. Yeah, I was on it. I mean, you know, you were saying, like, uh, hopefully I get a name. Like Floyd, maybe well, there's some, you know, other names, too. But Floyd was saying you could fight these two people for his title. What two people are you talking about? Uh, Thurman or <laughs> Sean Porter. I mean, if, if the fight, like I said, the fight, put it on the table. I personally want you to fight come, Thurman. I have my manager come to me, which is Keith Thurman, Sean Porter manager, too. He come with me with the fight, of course I'm going to say yes. I'm you, not ducking anybody. And then Floyd said that if I do fight them guys, we'll fight for a world title. So, man, I'm all in. Either way, Mr. Man Dan. I, I know you man. won't say who you want to fight. I know you no, won't say who you want to fight. Out, bro. I, but, but who do you match up better with out of Thurman and Porter? I mean, I can't just with anybody. I mean, um... Sean, he's more straightforward, so, I mean, it'll be easier for me to find Sean. Keith, he's more of a mover, so it'll be, we'll probably get it in probably in the sixth, seventh round when he slow down a little bit. But, um, I think I can just either one of them. And what do you think about uh, Floyd being so complimentary, complimentary to you all of a sudden? Or not all of a sudden, he's always been high on you, oh, but, nah, I, uh, but nah, really kick it to the level. Don't try to change it up. Don't try to change what you just said. <laughs> nah, but uh, nah, it's great. I mean, uh, to have somebody like Floyd to, to you know, put his name behind me and say that, you know, I'm the next big thing and I'm the future of boxing. I mean, that's a great thing because he don't have to do that. I mean, he got he got all the money he need. You know, he gets all the publicity. I mean, so he really don't have to do that. So and he don't have to lie about it. So I mean, it's a great thing, and uh, I just got to prove him right by going to the ring every time. And looking spectacular. So, and my last thing is, Al Heyman always gets all these great guys behind him. Were you surprised that he signed Tommy? No, I wasn't surprised at all. <laughs> oh, you got jokes. Um, <laughs> I'm setting up a fight with you and Chris Robinson. Chris no. going to kick your ass. <laughs> I wasn't surprised at all he signed him. He signed him, man. You know, um, he has a great friend behind me, you know. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Nah, I wasn't surprised. I mean, Tommy's Tom Tom is, Tom is a good fighter. He's young and he's hungry and he trains hard. You know, he's dedicated. and. Uh, you know, he's young, and, and I was looking for young, hungry, talented fighters. And that's what he got in, in Tommy. So, I mean, nah, I wasn't surprised. He had a good amateur, he got a lot of amateur fights, a lot of amateur experience, and he can fight. So, I mean, it, it's really on him how far he goes. If you train hard, stay focused, don't focus on nothing, the bull crap that's going on in Vegas, I mean, the sky's the limit. I'm too